Oh, I got one already. I was pulling the line out. I was pulling the... What is this? It's not, it's not fighting like a bass, but there's a handful of other ones swimming along next to it. <laughs> not a bad size one. Guadalupe looks... Oh, come on, I smashed the barb off. There we go. This one's worth getting a picture of. First cast, I wasn't even paying attention. All right. And off he goes. Man, he tore this thing up. <laughs> Got one, another little one. It's weird, these fish are not, they're not really fighting today. Oh, he slipped off. I mean, they're, like that one kept jumping, which is why he slipped the hook there. But, he's still out there too. Didn't even swim away. But they're just like swimming in with the line. Like, they're not fighting, they're not trying to get away from it. It's like they freeze up and just, let themselves get pulled. Got another one right there. It's always when I'm trying to get the tangles out. Look, this one, they're just swimming towards me. They're not even fighting. Yeah, this one's got some nice colors on them. There we go. Uh. Ah, no, I slipped. I tripped on that one. Wasn't able to set the hook right. Yeah. Hooked another one, wasn't even recording. Got him in the gill. He must have swept at it. It's not a bad one either. Got one that time. Another little one. This one's fighting, finally. He didn't want to fight till he got up close to the shore. Finally got, got one with some some pep this might be the biggest one of the day they're all they've all been about the same size <clears throat> and he got away i wanted to get a picture of him but he got away I need to oil up this reel. That's a fish. Just a little one, but it's a fish. Smallest one of the day. I didn't even know I had him. That's a spotted bass too. Uh, most of the other ones in this area, all the other fish I've caught out of this area were, uh, uh, what's it called? Guadalupe bass, that's the first spotted out of this spot. Usually I get them over by the bridge.
You know, I just realized something. I've had that Shakespeare Tiger rod there for a while, but I have not caught a fish on it yet. I need to get a fish on that. school of them following the one that I hooked. Look at the spots on this one. That's nice. Good size one. I think I caught this one already. Ah! He finned me. That hurt. Oh. Uh. Nice little fat one. Let's get the release here. There. Came back and splashed me. I'm bleeding from the fin. Oh. There's also two guys hanging around me that are acting really suspicious. One of them's on a bike. He keeps riding around and then he stops and gets off his bike and watches me. And then the other guy's running. He'll run for a little bit and then stop where the guy with the bike is. They'll leave and then they'll come back. I got one already. It's a little bass. Just a little one. Really light. Barely even been in the rod. Oh, now he's fighting. There we go. This is on the rooster tail. Let's see what I got. Nice colors on them. Nice spots. <laughs> oh look at that he's got a something in his mouth he's been eating oh man there's something huge down there splashing I don't know what that is that he's ate that he ate there looks like some kind of plant rooster tail down there but I gotta get it out of this guy's mouth first I'm afraid to lip him because I don't know what that is in his mouth <laughs> go the other way. There it goes. Hope I'm recording. I got one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Mm hmm.
Come on, dude. Chill out. Every time you do that, it goes in deeper. Came right out. Not a bad one. I mean, it's a little one. Not even worth getting a weight on or a measurement, but it's best thing of the day. Try to get a good release here.